Let's go, Chriso. Let's go, Chriso. Let's get to cooking. Today we making homemade corn dogs. This ain't that store bought stuff. You know the ones you get that is frozen. I'm talking fresh dogs. I was in a supermarket earlier and I was this close, this close to buying corn dogs. And I was like, you know, anything that I think about buying nowadays, I'm like, hold on, hold on now, hold on, chef. Official, unofficial chef. You can make that. A bag of groceries. Corn to the dog. Honestly, when it comes to foods like corn dogs and snacks like this, I'd be forgetting that you can make these in your own house. Like, it just seems like something you're supposed to buy. All right, let's see how these come out. So we're gonna start with two boxes of corn muffin mix. I actually never used this before, but how hard could it be? Got our bowl, let's get to work. So we're gonna take our Jiffy corn mix and we're gonna pour this in the bowl. All right, we're actually gonna pour both of these because uh, they're both eight ounces. So you want at least 16 ounces, feel me? So let's open this up. All right, they got a whole bag here. And let's get this ready to be poured. We're gonna get all of this in here. This is one bag and here go another box. Get both of these in there. Got that looking real nice. All right, now we're gonna season this up because this is where a lot of our flavor is coming from. To start our seasoning, first we're gonna add some cayenne pepper, a little bit of that, right? Then we're gonna get some ground cumin. Cumin coming, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, we're gonna add some of that. Now we're gonna add some butter, but first we need to melt some butter, so let's go get that. We cutting some butter over here. Let me not cut myself, though. A little bit of that. That's one. Hold on, y'all see the y'all see the hoop? Yeah, y'all see it. I don't think y'all got to see that. Here, here's the hoop. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, come on. From long range. Chriso gets the ball. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Whoa! Oh. Ah. The real Daniel Hayward out here. Butter in the bowl. We're going to let that heat up. Ooh. And that's what we want to see. Yeah, so we're going to pour this right in our mix. Get all that butter in there. Yeah. Now we're going to get two eggs and add that to the mix. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on in our mix right now. Let me show you how these real chefs do it. We got our one hand, ready? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Chives. We are gonna cut some of these and throw those into our mix. Take these, I'm gonna rinse these chives off a little bit. They low key be rinsed like in the supermarket too. You know what I'm saying? Like they always kind of get these clean, but you never know. I'm gonna dry them a little bit. And now, we're going to take out our handy dandy knife. And we're going to give them a little cut. We'll do about this. And this is to add some color into our chives, you know what I'm saying? Cut these up real nice. Oh yeah, they smell good too. That's about to be fire. Now we're going to add that. You know where we adding it. A chive for you is a chive for me. Now, since this is the majority of our flavor, we're going to add some salt and then some pepper to that thing because we want that tasting good. Everything in this bowl is looking phenomenal. Now, we're going to add some milk. We're going to pour this to a cup and a half. So that's like right here. We're going to add that thing. Mm-hmm. Add all that milk. All of our ingredients are in. We're good. Now we gotta take one of our uh, handy dandy tools and let's mix this all up. Now this, we finally get to mix something for real. I feel like I don't get to use this enough. Mix it all up. You want those eggs, everything mixed. You don't want this lumpy at all. So we're gonna give this a good mix. Do a little bit of that to make sure the eggs break down good. This is mixed to perfection. You know how we do. Now we're gonna get the baking sheet ready. I gotta actually preheat my oven to 375. I don't know why I always forget that. So let me do that right now. That's preheated now. Let's finish our dogs. I got my cooking sheet right here. I'm gonna take some foil. Now, honestly, this can go in the oven just as it is. If you don't wanna use foil, you don't have to. I'm gonna use foil because I'm just a foil guy. 
That was you, Skino? Yeah, my fault. Oh no, you good. So you gotta say what's up now. You gotta say what's up to the uh to the YouTube. Episode two, man. Yeah, man. You know we got another John coming. Episode two. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm getting my foil ready. Y'all know how we do. And then we're gonna start putting these dogs on it. So I'm gonna leave the foil here, and I'm gonna put this to the side. Well, first I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of cooking spray, so our dogs don't stick. What are you man, I'm making corn dogs, bro. Oh. From scratch. Oh yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be hot. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty pot. I got some chicken. Oh hell yeah. Alright, so look, boom. So now we got this. We got our mix. Everything's good. This smells great. Now, let's get our dogs. Who let the dogs out? Ooh, 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 ooh. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Yeah. I let the dogs out. We about to let them out of their package right now. Boom. Oh, wow. They slipping out. <laughs> All right. So this is where it get kind of freaky. We're going to take a fork. All right. Boom. We're going to take one of our dogs. Today, I got the hot links. So these joints, a little spicy. You feel me? We're going to take it. So first, I impale one with my fork, right? All right, I'm gonna move this to the side. Then we're gonna take our mix. So you see, see we got the mix. So right now, we got the dog and the mix. Now let me show you how to, what I'm about to do right here. I'm about to take a spoon, right, with my dog. And here, watch this. We are gonna cover the dog. Cover the dog. You can't even really see the whole, I might need the cameraman now. All right, so y'all can see. You gotta actually cover the whole dog. You see what I'm saying? Boom. And you wanna be generous with it. This is how we make the corn dog. So I'm gonna cover this bad boy, and then I'm gonna take it, put it on our baking sheet, and you can use a spoon like this to just take that right off. And if you ever see like you want a little bit more of the, of the corn dogness on your dog, you do something like that, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they cover it. Two down, a bunch more to go. I ain't gonna lie, these corn dogs do look a little crazy in the beginning. We're gonna see what they look like when they done. <laughs> this process of like putting the corn dog stuff on the dog is a whole mission. You gotta like stab the glizzy. You know we say glizzies now since we in New York. And then you gotta put the sauce on it. Yeah. This must this must be how I feel to work in a carnival. Right? Then boom. Take the sauce, put it on your plate. I'm gonna finish all of these out and then we're gonna throw them in the oven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The corn dogs are dogging. The corn dogs are corn dogging. Oh yeah. So now we just throw these bad boys in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until they nice and brown. And then it's going down. This is arguably my favorite part when I'm cooking. When you did all the work and you're just waiting for it to be done. It's like, man, I just gotta wait and eat, huh? You ready for this, Chico? It's about to be so good. As I wait, I realize that it's that time. Not that time to eat. It's that time to get rid of my tree. You been good, man. But it's February now. Get your ass in here. It's a new year, man. It's a new year. But it's my first time making uh, corn dogs, and I think I might have used a little too much batter. Because as you can see, my corn dogs looking a little, uh, not exactly how they're supposed to look. All right, let's do it. And that's the good thing about being an official, unofficial chef. We learning, all right? Not every meal gonna come out perfect. <laughs> but that makes it fun. Let's get these out of here. They look golden brown. Like I see, okay, this one kind of look like a corn dog. If I could just like get some of that off, that one kind of look like a corn dog. They look weird. They look weird. We're gonna have to see if they taste better than they look. I got some sticks and I'm gonna try to add the final and touch our corn dog now. We established that they look weird, but uh, let's see if they taste better than they look. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put this in the dog. 
Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a believer that you can't judge a book by its cover. So this right here, we're going to judge it for taste. Let's see. It don't look like the traditional corn dog, but it smell good. Mmm. The bread kind of fell. That's actually really good. I ain't gonna lie. This breading, way, way, way better than a regular corn dog. It has flavor, like real flavor. Do it look weird? Yes. Do it taste fire? Yes. Wow. I'm gonna perfect this too. Next time I make these, I'm not gonna add so much, um, so much of the breading. You know, you get better as you go, but this is fire. I can eat the bread and alone. Mm-hmm. Fire. Presentation wasn't too crazy, but the flavor, fire. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris.